most companies record inventory at cost. So if it costs Walmart $20 for a t-shirt, then Walmart would have the t-shirt on the balance sheet at $20. But in some cases, rare cases, companies can record inventory at net realizable value. So not just any company can do this. Uh, most companies have to record inventory at cost, and then there's the lower cost or net realizable value rule and so forth. But in certain industries, certain types of products, they can actually record uh, the inventory at net realizable value. So here are the conditions uh, per U.S. GAAP. It has to be a controlled market with a quoted price. So this has to be some kind of a commodity or something where you can look and say, oh, the price I can just see is quoted on a market and it's $32. Okay? The cost of disposal have to be not very large. Okay? And then the product is immediately available for delivery. So let me give you some examples. Rare metals is one example of something that could be uh, where you record at net realizable value. Uh, animals. It's like animals on a farm and then uh, crops or agricultural produce that comes from the animals. Okay, so IFRS actually sl uh, splits the animals into and then the pro uh, produce that comes from the animals into two types of assets. IFRS has biological assets, uh, which would be like, for example, the sheep. And then agricultural produce is like what comes from the sheep. So that, that would be wool. Okay, so that's IFRS. They have the biological assets and then the agricultural produce. Okay, so sometimes you say, well, why, why would uh, companies be allowed to uh, record these assets at net realizable value instead of cost like other companies? Well, in some cases, if you're thinking about like an animal, so if we take a cow and the cow is going to be harvested, so we're going to get milk from the cow. And when we get milk from the cow, uh, how do we determine what was the cost? of that milk because there's so many different costs that go into raising and maintaining a cow uh, not just milking it and so it's very difficult to figure out okay what what was really the cost of that cow's milk okay so we can just say okay well we can estimate the net realizable value uh, of that cow's milk and then we'll put that as the the value for the inventory on the balance sheet so let me give you an example so let's say we've got a farmer uh, they shear some wool uh, from the sheep that they have and the net realizable value of that wool is $50,000. So the journal entry, uh, we're going to debit a wool inventory for $50,000. Okay, And again, wh why would we debit the net realizable value instead of the cost? Well, we don't necessarily know. It's not easy to figure what is the cost to actually produce that wool. And then we're going to have, we have to have some kind of credit, right? We can't just debit something and not have a corresponding credit. So we are going to credit unrealized gain. Okay, so we're going to have an unrealized gain of $50,000, and that's going to go to the income statement. That's going to affect uh, the company's profitability. Now, the farmer then sells the wool, and let's, let's say they sell it for a little more than $50,000. Let's say they sell it for $51,000 cash. Then they're going to debit cash for $51,000, and they're going to credit sales revenue for $51,000. But then they also have to get the inventory off of the balance sheet. So they're going to credit wool inventory for 50000 If you're wondering why that amount, because that's what we originally put it on the balance sheet at, right? It's net realizable value of fifty, And then we're going to debit cost of goods sold of $50,000. So this is a pretty similar uh, journal entry that we would have, as similar to selling a regular product that wasn't put on the balance sheet at net realizable value. So again, just the only difference here is what we're doing is we're saying, look, we, it's not that easy to know what the cost of that wool was. And so this this in this specific case, this type of company, this farmer could actually put the wool on the balance sheet at net realizable value instead of cost.